I don't think anybody thought it was going to go sub 63. We had just gotten into, and not even officially, we had unofficially gotten into the the 63 second range. And then now Latensepet Gede completely, completely knocks it out of the park. 62-52 in Valencia. This was a typo if you ever thought it was one. Like when you looked at the results, it's like, wait a minute, 63-53? No, 62-52 for Gede. Fast pace uh, early on, obviously, never really abated. She just kept going and going and going. Um, Yelhalu, who had the old unofficial record, also went under the, the previous record there. She ran 63-51. So the other person in the race beat the old world record and still lost by a minute. I mean, there's a lot to get to um, here, Gordon, but uh, the top line here at Gede and just an all-time performance on the roads in Valencia. Yeah, and it it was – we knew we were going to get something fast. We knew we probably were going to get potentially a world record. But I think seeing something this extreme, this – on far under the world record we did not see and when you compare this to other world records it is probably the best if not tied for the best record in women's running with all track and field and road racing it is insane that to kind of comprehend what a sub 63 is for a woman right now in the year of 2021 and we can talk a little bit about how great of a record this is but i kind of want to talk about why it happened and I think this is a, a result of a long-distance track athlete in their prime running on the roads. I think clearly she's in her best 10K, 5K shape with the way she's been running the past few years on the track. And then you just translate that into good environment road racing, which is what Valencia is, flat course, good conditions great pacing and you're going to get these extreme marks like i think if we had like prime mo Farah before he kind of moved to the roads going all out at a in a half maybe you see something like this not to say mo would have done what gaday is doing gaday is definitely deserves all the credit but the more and more times we see great track athletes who are still in their prime competing on the roads, we're going to see special things. Like, we think the G'day stuff is great, but we're like, wait till Hassan runs an all-out <laughs> marathon, right? Wait till she wins an all-out half, right? So it gets me excited to know that there's a group of really high-class track women who are have yet to really show the world what they can do in the marathon, and in, in the half marathon, in the roads. You know, so I, yeah, it's, it's incredible. So Lost I would sure. put that in the category of the half marathon not being fully optimized. And I think most people would agree to that just because it's not run that frequently when it is, it's run as, as a tune up sometimes for a marathon. And then you have this pool of 5k, 10k runners who have obviously the speed advantage over the road people but they just don't end up running it that often or they do it at the end of the season get the appearance fee and move on but i think that's only yeah. one i think that's only one part of it i would also put obviously the shoes into it i put the course as i mentioned everything in valencia is fast there doesn't seem to be a single race in valencia it doesn't matter if it's a track or the road it's ridiculously quick the pacing i'd say was phenomenal gordon as well in the beginning, I don't know if it was an intentionally set up like this. And Gade is with NN running, and all they do is break records as well, too. It doesn't matter who puts on the jersey for them. They're able to set up these races that that go incredibly quick. But early on, she almost had that Kipchoge Vienna setup where she had the people in front of her, the, the male pacers. Then she had Yahuwala behind her and then a group behind as well, too. So the the pacing on both sides, which is what they changed for Kipchoge between Monza and Vienna. Now, eventually that back group fell off and it was just two people up front, two male pacers up front. And I, I laughed a bit because I was watching the commentary and with about 15 minutes to go, the commentator saying, man, I wish the pacers would step off, give her the stage. She can take it from here. 
And I'm thinking to myself, well, no, the goal is to just completely smash this record. They're still helping her. They're still giving her something to chase. So the pacing from the male pacers and just the presence of everybody around it helped immensely too. And then I'd say the fifth thing, and this goes back to your point before of just a long distance athlete, a distance track athlete going to the roads. But I just say good day specifically. There's obviously something about her where this distance clicks because listen, she's done the 5k record on the track. She's done the 10k record on the track. But then when it comes time for championships, we all picked Hassan. She got beat by Hassan. She faded the bronze just because she doesn't have that, that closing kick because basically nobody has that closing kick of Hassan. But she's still, I think she's still a huge talent, obviously. So taking her, not just any, she's not just any 10k runner. She's run those insane 5 and 10k marks, but putting her in the half marathon, I think those five things combined, and you can argue maybe one was worth 20%, one was worth 30, one was worth 10 or something like that. But I think it was those five things together made this combination of, of 6252 52 possible. Yeah. And for the, like you said, the half marathon isn't run that often in a, in marquee, we do have the half marathon world championships, but when people think of roads, you think of marathon marks. When people think of track, they think that the longest is 10K. So half marathon kind of falls through the wayside. But I did a little bit IAAF scoring tables. Yeah. And Travis, if you can put us up here, we, if he's still here, he might, he might have left. But I'll, I'll run through it. It is kind of insane when you compare what this mark is in other events. So according to scoring tables, 62.52 is equivalent to 1,325 uh, right. points, right? So in a women's mile, that's a 402 mile. Mm -hmm. In a women's 5K, that's a 13.39 5K. In a marathon, it's 2.11.16. Those are all hypothetical marks. Those are based on charts, but there are a couple ways to, to think about this. Of these three, which is the most impressive? Is it looking at the conversion marks? So you have, let's just stick with the distance stuff there. Cause then in the sprint stuff goes way crazy. Yeah. So yeah. on the, on the distance side, you said 211. Well, the distance goes crazy too. The, you had 211 and then what? 1340 something. Yeah. 1339, 5k. Okay. So and a 402 it, mile. So what's the craziest, most head exploding way to think about it? Is it? The conversion marks is it looking at some of these splits and how they rank against just women's performances all time at that distance she went out gordon in 15 then her next 5k she, she was she finished she went through 10k at 2945 so she ran a 1445 which is better than a lot of countries national record it would be way up there on the all-time list so is it that is it the performance charts or is it how her performance compares all time to men's performances? Because this race was run at the same time as the men. Some of these athletes, I mean, they weren't running slow. They're still at the finish line holding up the flag, posing for a picture, the men, and then Gade's coming in there and finishing. Which way is most impressive for you? Which way to think about it? Well, I think the fact that she basically ran a 15 flat 5K and then basically handed a baton virtually to a prime Shannon Roberry. Mm -hmm. No, a prime Molly Huddle and a prime Shalane Flanagan in the 5K. Like, like these people, like Molly Huddle's 5K PB is 1442. Flanagan's is 1444. Like, it's insane to think that back-to-back 14 -back fours at the after running a 15 flat is what she did. And yeah. sure, she got a running head start, but I don't think that's <laughs> enough to to make up for how how quick of a last two 5k's that is. 